Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I want to talk about making a gun or weapon that can shoot around in your SNET engine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a weapon that can shoot around and I hope you like it. So first, let's import the modules that we're going to use in this video and then let's create an entity as a background. Now, uh, to basically create a game in Yersna, we need to import the Yersna module. So we can write from Yersna import star. And we also want to import a math module. We're going to be using this later as well. Now to set up our app, we can just search, um, type in app is equal to Yersna, and then app.run. And we also want to create a background. So I'm going to create a background uh, as an entity, set the model equal to a quad, set the scale equal to 20, 10, and set the texture equal to assets, blue sky and this is an image that I have on my computer so it's a blue sky image and if I save and run this we could see the blue sky image in the background so now let's create a player um, entity class that we can use to create our weapon object now to create this weapon object I want to have a class player of entity I'm going to have a define init function of self super dot net. Whoops. Net uh, self. I'm going to set the self dot parent equal to the camera dot UI. Set the model equal to quad set the scale equal to 0.3.2 set the texture equal to and then uh, I have a gun image so gun.png so that's going to be my texture set the position equal to 0 0 so 0 on the x 0 on the y axis and set the D angle equal to 2 and this is the speed that the angle is going to change so the change in angle basically now to create our weapon uh, as an object we could just have a variable equal to an object of this class and so if I show this we have our weapon right there in the center of our screen so now let's add an update function so that we can actually rotate our weapon um, now above our class, I'm going to define an update function. And this update function is called once per frame. Now I'm going to type in player.rotation uh, z. So I'm going to rotate the player around the z-axis plus equal to held keys right arrow multiplied by player.d angle. And then player dot rotation z minus equal to held keys left arrow multiplied by player dot change angle. So essentially, when the right arrow is pressed and held, the gun will the gun or weapon will rotate clockwise. And when the left arrow is pressed and held, the weapon will rotate counterclockwise. And so if I save and run this, I click the right arrow. You notice that my weapon starts rotating to the right. I hold the left arrow and it'll start rotating um, counterclockwise. So now we also want this weapon to basically shoot bullets. Now for that to happen, I'm going to also create a bullet class. So bullet entity define in it of self and then I'm going to set self down model or actually uh, I'm going to call super dot init and self dot parent equal to camera dot UI self dot model equal to quad self dot color and I'm going to set the color equal to green. So we can just write color.green. 
set the scale equal to 0 0.05, 0 0.05 on the x and y. Set the position equal to the player position. So basically, we want the bullet and the weapon to have the same position. Set the x equal to player. Dot. Actually, it's not the x. The z. So set the z equal to player. Dot z. Um, plus 0 0.01. Set the rotation z equal to player. Dot rotation z. And so. Uh, the weapon and the weapon and bullet will have the same initial rotation. And set self dot dx equal to 0 0.8 times math dot sign. And here we're using the math library that we imported. Uh, Put our rotation z divided by 180 multiplied by math dot pi. And this is going to be the speed in the x direction. And self dot change in y is going to be equal to 0 0.8 times math dot cosine player dot rotation z divided by 180 multiplied by math dot pi. And now we want to create a uh, bullets empty list that's going to essentially hold our bullets. So I'm going to have a, a list called bullets. And this is going to be an empty list. I'm also going to add in an input function, and it's going to basically detect when we want to shoot a bullet. So define an input of key global bullets. Now I'm going to check if the key is equal to space. So if the user presses the space bar, um, I'm going to create a bullet object. And then I'm going to append that bullet into our list, into our bullets list. And so our list will contain just uh, some bullet objects. And now we want to, now what we could do is also just move the bullets into the update function. And to do that, all I'm going to do is declare global bullets in here. And then iterate through the list. So for bullet in bullets um, I'm going to increase the X position and the Y so bullet dot X plus equal to dumb dot DT multiplied by bullet dot change in X and similarly with the Y um, Y position of the bullet so bullet dot Y plus equal to time dot DT multiplied by bullet dot change in Y so when the right arrow key is pressed and held, the gun is going to rotate uh, clockwise. When it's the left arrow key is pressed, it's going to rotate counterclockwise. When space is pressed, our weapon should um, shoot out a bullet. So let's try that out. Okay, so you just saw one. I'm going to press space again. Now I can keep pressing space. And you see this weapon is going to keep shooting out these bullets. Now we can also just add in a laser sound at the end whenever a bullet is fired. Let's try that. Now all we have to do to add in a sound effect is just write audio and then the sound file. In this case mine is in my assets folder and it's called lasersound.wav. Now if I save and run this, I can press space, shoot the bullet, and there's going to be a sound effect. And I can shoot as many bullets as I want. So this is the end of this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.